In this video I'm going to show you how to enlarge shapes, first of all without essential enlargement, these are the easier sort of enlargements, and secondly with a centre of enlargement. So quite often in GCSE maths, um, towards the beginning of a paper you'll have a, sh a question like this, enlarge the shape by scale factor 2, it gives you no axes, no numbers along the side here, there's no indication that you need to use coordinates at all. All you have to do when you see this is simply make sure that you are doubling every length of the shape. If you need to, a few things you need to remember. First of all, an enlargement can be made bigger or smaller. So if you had a fraction or number here, this might this shape might get smaller. The scale factor is the number that you multiply the side lengths by. Okay, so I've written scale factor. Multiply your side lengths by this number. So our scale factor is 2. That means I need to multiply every side length by 2. And if I look here, this one here, assuming this is a centimetre squared grid, this is 1 centimetre. So in my enlargement, that needs to be doubled. 1 times 2 is 2. So I'm now going to draw the top of my new shape there and its width is going to be 2. If you look down the side here of the smaller shape, that distance is 3. 3 centimetres. Again, I'm using the same scale factor, times by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. I need to do 6 squares down. There's 2, 4, 6. Along the base here, two squares, but because I'm enlarging the shape, making it bigger, two times by two is equal to four. Like that. Down here, down the middle bit, two centimetres. So when I go doubling that, make it four centimetres down on the larger shape. And you can probably see now that the L shape, when you finish it up, is going to end up looking like that. So that's pretty straightforward. That's um, it's not a particularly difficult question. That one might be made more difficult by if your scale factor is a little bit more tricky, like three or one half or one third. Uh, but still, you just need to remember to multiply each length by that scale factor and draw the new shape. Where enlargement becomes a little bit more tricky is where we have to do something like this. Enlarge the shape by scale factor 3 using center of enlargement 0, 1. Now to get to grips with the center of enlargement you need to start to think about how you might um, blow something up from a particular point. So make something larger from a particular point. Let's mark the position of 0, 1 on here. There it is, 0 along, 1 up. That is my center of enlargement. That is the point from which all of my distances are going to be, in this case, trebled times by 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for a couple of places on this T-shape where I might be able to triple the distance quite easily from this point. So if I take a look here, this point here, I'm going to call it A. And what I'm going to do with A is I'm going to say to myself, right, that's one square along from the centre of enlargement. Times that by three, I should get three squares from the centre of enlargement. So I'm going to go in the same direction, one, two, three squares. That's where that point is going to move to. So A, this bottom left corner of the T-shape, is going to be here when I enlarge the shape. If I now look for another point that I can do quite easily, let's choose um, this point here, the top of the T on the left. That's two squares up from the centre of enlargement. Don't forget to use the scale factor, times by three. Two squares up, multiplied by three, is six squares up. So start from the centre of enlargement again and count six squares up. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And if I call that one B, that's now B dashed. So I've got this shape and I've got these two points on my shape fixed already. Now I could continue going and get every single corner in the same way. But if you're really good at enlargements and you know what this shape is, how big this shape is going to be now, you'll be able to draw it in. Remember that scale factor 3 means every length needs to be times by 3. So this one square down, remember this T shape is just one square down at this point, times it by 3 will become three squares down. If you take this length across here, which is three squares, times it by three, that becomes nine squares along. Takes me to there. And then another three squares down. Because it was one times by three makes three squares down. And you can probably see how that is going to fit together now. Just the reason we do two points there is just to check when you're enlarging the shape that you've got it in the right place. Okay, and that now is our new enlarged shape. And the key thing about the center of enlargement is that it's now in a fixed position. I, if I drew that anywhere else on the grid, it would be wrong. But because I've drawn it in the correct position, I've got it right. If you're unsure when using the centre of enlargement, just make sure you get the shape the right size and that you'll at least get some marks. Right, last of all, let's have a look at this one. This is a scale factor of one half. And a scale factor of a half is one that people often make a mistake with. So let's see if we can do this one using a scale factor of a half. It tells me to use the center enlargement 0, 0. So I'm going to put that on here. It's just here. There's 0, 0. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the squares to a particular corner. Let's choose this one here. This is 5 squares along and 3 squares up. Now my scale factor of a half means that I need to times everything by a half. Times in by a half is just like dividing by 2. So let's have a look at those instructions again. It was 5 along, 3 up. On my new shape, I'm going to have to divide those numbers by 2. So I go 2 and a half along and 1 and a half up. And that position there, which could have been called A, is now A dashed and it's moved to there. The distance from uh, the center of enlargement to A has been halved. If we choose this point here now, which is point B, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 diagonal squares. So again, if I divide that by 2 and count from here 1, 2, and a half, that's where B dashed is going to go. If we look at this point here, which I'm going to call C, the coordinates, if I want to go from here to C, I have to go 3 along, 5 up. Again, halving those instructions and starting again from here, 1.5 along and 2.5 up. Puts point C just in there. So now I can join those three up. And that sort of L shape there is the same as this L shape here. It's just been reduced in size. Let's carry on. Let's try this one here, which is point D. To get to from my center of enlargement to D, I have to go three along and seven up. If I half those numbers, divide them by two, I get 1.5 along and 3.5 up, which is there. And now, if you follow the rest of it, you can do the rest of the corners, or you can sort of think about it for yourself, how big this shape is going to be. It's half the size. It's been reduced to that size there. One thing that might be handy might be using some straight lines to make sure 
that your points are in the right place. If I'm going to half the distance of D from the centre of enlargement, it needs to be on the same straight line down here. That's halfway from that point, the centre of enlargement, to D. And similarly, all of the other ones should be on a straight line. So if we look at A and A dashed, they're on a straight line. If we look at these two corners here, which I haven't labelled, that straight line should also pass through the centre of enlargement. So try putting a few lines on just to check that your points are on the corresponding lines. If you want to know how to describe an enlargement, it may be worthwhile checking out the video on describing enlargements.